The NCAA today announced that they have stripped USC of winning the 2004 National Championship. But if you ask me, no one's going to care about that. In everyone's mind, even in the school media guy next year, they're still going to be called the champions of 2004. That's not going to change. Reggie Bush, sure, he was a jerk and he did what he did for his own selfish reasons. But in the end, if you really want to punish USC, get that band going a little bit further. Des Bryant, like a lot of NFL players, seems to have problems with cops. Only in this case, it's a mall cop at a mall. And it isn't the first time. Bryant has actually been in trouble multiple times at a specific mall. And now he's taking his fight to Twitter, saying that he's going to return. L-O-L. So, Brian, I ask you this question. Are you an NFL superstar with the Dallas Cowboys or a 12-year-old girl? It's pretty easy to get angry again after reading the tweets made by Steelers running back Rashard Mendenhall that basically blasted America for killing Osama bin Laden. We won't get into all those details, but what I'm going to say is, Mendenhall, you're an idiot, and you deserve to be booed every time you touch the ball, whether home or away next season. Fans, this is your chance to show up what American pride is all about. So LeBron James finally wins an NBA playoff series against the Boston Celtics, and suddenly he takes these the king of the Wait a minute, this can't be true. What is this? I told you to never call me on this phone again. I don't care what it's about. I don't care if security's been breached. I'm the only one. I know I'm the only one. Good to see you again, Agent Brad. I know your last mission was a very hard one. We thought you would never return, but only you can save us now. In the documents right here that I gave you, you'll see that sports page online leads are being funneled to the enemy. This is not good. This is the last thing that we need happening. You think this is an inside job? Definitely inside job. There's no way anybody from the outside could get a you hold know, this information. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be probably one of your toughest assignments. So what you're saying is I'm being betrayed by my own crew? That's what I believe. I believe your crew is stabbing you in your back. Time seems to be running out. Time is on your side. All right, good show, guys. So let's see ya. Drive. talking to? Nobody! What are you talking about? I know you've been following secrets to the enemy. Tell me who it is now! What secrets? What enemy? I don't know what you're talking about. Have you been talking to anybody about the show? Uh, some, some guy was asking me some questions about the show. I didn't think they were important. Some guy? Yeah, I didn't see him. Who is he? I don't know who he you is. You know who he is! He came to me. I don't know who he is. Did you tell him anything? Nothing, I swear. It wasn't important. Well, it's important now. If they got to one... They've got to them all. Hey, I thought the show was really good this week, even though Brad just left. That was weird, yeah. wasn't it? Yes, he told you what we're going to do for the show next week. I really want to know about the leads. I really want to know about the open. All right, all right guys. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Hello. It's not Evan. <sighs> it's never easy, is it? Then where do we go from here? I think I fingered our next culprit. Anthony was asking some weird questions about the show. I should have known with his freaking goatee. I've been asking about the leads, I've searched Brad's computer, I've been all over the office getting that information you wanted. You said you wanted the leads early, but I don't understand why. Brad's been acting really weird lately. He's got a lot on his plate. I think it's important we have the leads ahead of time. I don't really understand what you mean, but is there any other information you want? No, Brad's going to be here soon. In fact, he probably shouldn't hang out here any longer. Alright, well I'll go get what I have and I'll meet you in the conference room in two minutes.
What were you and Anthony talking about? I swear, we were just talking about the show because we didn't know if you had a plan for it or whatever. Listen, listen, shut up. I know you're one of my guys. I've known you the longest, but you better- That had nothing to do with this! You freaking leave him out! Get back down! Tell me what you know, Anthony, right now! I don't know anything! Don't lie to me. Why would I lie to you? You think I would lie to my own father? No matter how far apart we've been, I still believe in It's not Matt, and it's definitely not Anthony. What? Anthony confessed. Anthony was just out for attention. It's not him. What are you gonna do? Joe, for the first time in my life, I don't know. You might have to visit the man you never thought you'd have to. No the man way. you never thought you'd see again. No way. Doc Sargo. Are you crazy, Joe? You know what he did to me. We all make sacrifices for the show. It's been tough on all of us. But this has to get solved. If there is any man but I have to go. People are going to start to get suspicious. You know I'm here and believe me. Doc Sarno. Doc Sarno! We have a problem. I thought you'd never see me again. Ah, uh, Brad Carroll. I was expecting you. You should have known that if I needed to find a low life, I'd come to you. Yes. But you made me what I am. I had to do it. You turned rogue. You were my mentor. I was your mentor, but you left me crippled and hobbled. I had to do it. You turned on the show. But now I need your help. You need to retribute yourself. How would I do that? There's a spy within the show, selling secrets to the enemy. The show's gonna be terminated if I don't find him. Find him? I know you know what's going on on the streets. I've heard stuff. Tell me something right now. Well, look at your show. Look at the people you have on your show. You always have the same people on your show? Do you bring outsiders in? Or is it your regulars? Think about them. Who can you trust and who don't you trust? Listen, Dark Sarno, I'll take your advice. But that doesn't mean I won't come back and cripple you again. Cripple me again? I have no legs left. I can barely breed. I think if you come back, the joke will be on you this time. We'll see, Doc Sarno. We'll see. I'm under the understanding that our agreement is still on. Anthony! Anthony! Oh, I wanted to talk to you. I'm glad I found you. Brad, like, choked me to death. He thinks I gave information about the show to somebody? This is ridiculous. Yeah, he threw me across the table and attacked me. It was not pretty, but I think he believes me now. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm off the hook too, and I talked to Matt. Matt's scared out of his wits. It obviously wasn't Matt. But that means if it was one of us, there's only one person left. Yeah, we're gonna have to end this drama. We're gonna have to tell Brad who it is. All right, but all of us should go. I don't want him to single out one person. We should all, right. all stand up as a united front. I'll make the phone call. find anything out? I think we made a major breakthrough. All right, I'll be right there. Listen, listen, shut up. Oh.
Clues point to one man. Sorry to tell you this, it's Joe. Really? We're 99% sure. <sighs> I have to dock Sarno. I never thought this would happen again. What if it's Joe? We gotta teach him a lesson. Sarno was bad. You have no idea what it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Then who was it? It wasn't me. Here's your answer. Get up. You never forgive me. There's keys on it. You have to get in by a lock. Well, you made one big mistake. You trusted Joe Fortunato. Hey, that was... Whatever. He was the only one who agreed to do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that should have made you know that no you were what? doing something wrong here. Oh, come on. You did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Oh, you know what you did. What do you think this has all been about? I don't know. I haven't seen you since the first episode. Exactly. Why don't you think back? Come on, use the little brain power that you have and think back. I don't need to think. I know what kind of weasel you are. I'm not a weasel. Have you ever looked in the mirror? I did. And I like what I see. I can't say the same for you, because every time I look at you, you make me sick. You and your sports page online show? Come on. I mean, really? Well, who the hell is Evan Macy? Where the hell did you get him? I don't know. And then you got Cupcake Boy. And then you got Fred Flintstone. Well, what do you want from me? It's oh, over. It may be over for you, but I want to know why you did it. And I want to know now. Well, you're, you're implying that I had a motive. Listen, you. violence isn't going to get you anywhere. It's gotten me everywhere so far. Well, that's because you're dealing with a lot of cowards. You got a lot of balls walking into here. You know that? Have you known me for long? I've known you for a while. And I know you won't do anything. Oh, I, your bark is bigger than your bite. You sure about that? Positive. Absolutely positive. Well, that one episode? Which one? The first one. What about it? You didn't learn anything about me. Ah, uh, did I have to?
come to let me out.